Hello and good morning. Today we're going to start in standing. So we're going to start with our feet hip distance apart. We're going to spread out the toes. So that gives us a little bit of extra stability. We're going to start to engage through our calves, micro bend the knees, squeeze the inner thighs as if you're holding an invisible block. Zip up from your pelvic floor, which is the start of your pelvic floor to the start of your rib cage. That's your Uliana Bandha. Your core, grow tall, shoulders pull back, arms spread out to the sides. Reach out your fingertips. Start to tuck in your chin, maybe float your eyes closed or rest with your gaze two or three feet ahead as you engage throughout your whole body. Make it active, even though we're not moving, we're just making it active. Now connect to your breath. Yoga is breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Just like blowing out a candle, again inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Again. And exhale. Completely relax. Maybe feeling sensation into the palms of your hands. Welcome, my name is Nicola. So we're going to do a short flow this morning. Just going to start to curl in the fingers, feeling the palms of your hands. I'm going to rotate the wrists and then the other way. I'm going to start to paddle out the feet, hands to the hips. Keep a micro bend in the knees at all times. We're never cranking the body, so we're just warming up. So here we're starting to engage the Achilles, the arch support. And then from here, come back to stillness, engage through the heels. Now you take the feet just a little bit wider. And we're going to start to rotate the hips. Nice, long, deep breath. One full circle of breath for each circle of the hips. Take it slow. Nice. Smile, it doesn't have to be hard. And then we're going to start to go the other way. Inhale, exhale, pull it back. And when you use our breath in yoga, we're actually encouraging immunity for the lungs. Nice. And reach the arms up tall. Holding onto the left wrist with the right hand, we're going to reach over towards the right. Press the hips forward, engage the glutes. Three rounds of breath here. Neck extends long, we're not dumping the head here. Inhale, grow tall, release the arms. And then again, inhale, rise back up. Engage the left hand to the right wrist, reach over towards the left. It doesn't have to be deep. Again, we're not dumping the head. Neck extends long. Press the hip forwards, engage the glutes. Slowly, slowly release. We're going to raise the arms out to the sides. Engage the glutes, micro bend the knees and bow forwards halfway. Halfway hold, Ardha Uttanasana or half tabletop. Exhale, release down to our Uttanasana. We can heel toe the feet to hip distance now or a forward fold. This pose really helps with flexibility. You can use blocks here or books if you need. If you can, come all the way down. Hands come to the thighs or the shins. Allow the head to be heavy, not the head shift. And on the exhale, shake the head and 
maybe shaking out the shoulders, maybe releasing the hips from side to side. Listen to your lower back. Don't do anything that your body is not ready to do. Inhale to a flat back, hands underneath the knees, shoulders pull back, neck extends long. Engage the glutes, micro bend the knees, exhale, release it. Bend the knees deeply, spread the arms wide as you engage through the feet, engage the calves, micro bend the knees, engage the thighs, slowly reach up. Inhale, reach the palms together. Exhale to the heart. And return to the side. So inhale, raise up. Exhale, bow down, halfway hold, engage the glutes, neck extends long, micro bend the knees. Breathe. Exhale, release down. Again, nod the head, Jess. Shake the head. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise high. Reverse dive. Exhale to the heart. Take a breath. Nice. Again, inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, dive in this time. We're going to speed up slightly. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise high. Reach forwards and up. Exhale, heart center. Again, inhale, rise up. Exhale, dive in. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, to the heart. I'm going to do two more, just like that. Inhale, rise. Exhale, dive in all the way down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach forward. This time coming into chair. Palms together in front of the heart. So look at my head. My head is in line with my glutes. Shoulders pull back. Palms to heart center. Squeeze the thighs together as if you're holding an invisible block. So you're encouraging strength in the knees here by working on the hips, the quads and the hamstrings. Breathe. Exhale, release. Surrender to the earth. Forward fold. Don't forget the micro bend in the knees. Inhale, reach forwards, come back up. Hands to heart. You can bring the knees together, big toes together if you wish, if you want to go deeper. And then squeeze the inner thighs, shoulders pull back, neck in line with your spine. Breathe. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, heart center. Take a breath. It's a nice short flow today. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Sit back. So again, see the straight line of the crown of my head to my sits bones. If you want to go more challenge, you can sit back. Ideally, your knees are over your ankles. So feel what's right for you. Engagement in the glutes. Breath. Keep your breath. Not holding the breath, not clamping the jaw. So this is our chair pose or Utkatasana. And release down. Nod the head just. Shake the head now. Use your breath. Inhale, we're going to slowly allow the arms to be heavy. I'm going to slowly roll up like a ragdoll. Again, micro bend in the knees, falling. Engagement in the glutes will protect the lower back. So this pose encourages flexibility. Slowly, slowly roll up. Back to our Samastiti or Tadasana, arms out wide. Facing front. We're just gonna do a few warriors. So we're gonna step the right foot forwards. So keeping your legs on a tram, on a Train track, not a tram line, I'll get it right in a minute. Left foot comes to a 45 or 35 degree position. Bend into that front knee. 
So knee is not protruding the ankle, knee is tracking over the second and third toe. Hips face towards forwards, and I always say towards because we're never forcing the body into any position it's just not ready to be in. Now tuck the pelvis, you engage that quad on the left side, reach the arms up. So warrior one, slight tuck in the chin, shoulders pull back, so engage the arms, and breathe. Open the arms to warrior two, hips now face towards the side, back foot is at a 90, and arms are level with the shoulders. Again, engage the inner thighs to protect the knees. Tuck the pelvis. Engage your core. Then relax the shoulders, maybe go deeper. Breath. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly, I'm gonna heel toe, heel toe, my feet together. I'm gonna go into warrior three. So stepping into the left foot, spread out toes, plant down, hands to the hips. So as you take the weight to the left leg, micro bend the left knee. Keep the pelvis tucked, will always help you to balance. Balancing is really important in yoga. Knee in line with the hip, foot is flexed, hands to the hips. You can stay here, give yourself choice. And then again, we're keeping the foot in line with the hip, we're trying to keep the pelvis tucked as we start to slowly sweep that right leg back. Reach the arms in line with the torso. And if you fall out, that's okay too, I'm talking so I'm not breathing. <laughs> Flex the foot, shoulders pull back. If you want to go deeper, you can reach the arms forwards or hands to heart. And five, pull the shoulders back. Four, keep breathing. Three, two, last one. Slowly, slowly come back. Nice, pedal it up. Nice. Are you still with me? You are. Okay, let's do the other side. All right, so we're at the back of our mat, or at least I am today. You can be at your front if you wish. Hands with the hips. Step the left foot forwards this time. Pivot on the back foot. So heel to arch alignment for warrior one. So the foot is at a 35 or 45 degree angle, depending on how open your hips are. So I always say towards, we're never forcing. So hips face towards forwards. Nice bend in that front knee. Again, the knee is not protruding the ankle. If you can't see your big toe, you need to adjust your position. Knee is tracking over the second and third toe. So again, tuck the pelvis. You'll feel that right quad engage this time. Engage the inner thighs to protect the knees. That will strengthen the knees. Raise the arms up. If you want to go deeper, you can keep your hands at your hips. It's all a choice. Five or six deep rounds of breath here. Engage the arms. Allow the shoulders to be slightly wide. Just engaging those upper arms. Whenever we have our hands overhead, we're also encouraging confidence. Five or six rounds of breath. Fear of dressing a one or worry one. Slowly open to warrior two as you pivot on that right foot to a 90. Arms reach out level with the shoulders. Again, engagement in the inner thighs, hips face towards the side now. And breathe. Breath is everything in yoga. 
slowly bring the hands back to the hips, straighten out the left leg, pivot on that left foot. We're going to heel toe, heel toe the feet together, pedal it out if you wish. And then we're going to do the other side for our warrior three. So right foot presses down, spread out the toes, micro bend the right knee. Again, hands to the hips. Zip up your Uliana Bandha from your pelvic floor to the start of your ribcage, that's your core. And then grow tall, tuck in the chin, shoulders pull back. And again, the knee is going to come in line with the hip. And if you fall out, that's okay too. Flex the foot, so tuck the pelvis, that will help you to balance. It's really important as we age. And then slowly, carving that line like you're on a train track, Take the foot back, maybe release the hands in line with your torso, flex the foot, keep the pelvis tucked slightly and breathe. So Virabhadrasana 3 or Warrior 3, neck in line with the spine. If you want to go deeper, reach the hands forwards or hands to heart. Connect to your breath. Slowly, slowly bring the foot back, pedal it out, shake it out as you need. Okay, I'm going to take the feet out mat distance apart, feet can come out to an angle, hands to heart. I'm going to slowly come down to our yogi squat and maybe rock from side to side. Take your time. If you are not able to do yogi squat, then maybe just come down to a forward fold and step back to down dog. So do what feels right for you and your body. Reminder, I'm just here as a guide. You are the master of your body and only you can tell you what to do. If you're here, hands to heart, press out the elbows against the inner thighs. You give yourself a nice hip stretch in Malasana or yogi squat. Deep breath in, slow breath out. Connect to your breath. Maybe float the eyes closed or rest with your gaze two or three feet ahead. Slowly release. Bring the hands behind the hips. Make fists. Come back onto your sit bones and take the legs out along. So we're going to come into Paschimottanasana or our seated forward fold. So shimmy shake the soft glutes away from the earth. Raise the arms up on the inhale. Micro bend the knees, squeeze the inner thighs and then float down bending from the crease of the hips. Reaching towards your knees, your shins, your ankles or your toes. I have long arms so don't try and do what I can do if you're not there yet. Pull the shoulders back, neck in line with the spine. Breathe in and breathe out. So this is a full body stretch. The only thing that is relaxed here is our abdomen. If you want to make it more about the core in, how come back up. Exhale, float back then. Again, inhale up. Exhale back down. As you can hear, I'm breathing deeply. Inhale, reach up. Exhale down. So when we do that, we're encouraging immunity. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Okay, slowly, slowly come back up. What goes forward must come back. So fist behind the hips, or you can use hands if you don't have wrist if you, issues. You're going to bend into the knees to a 90 degree position. Feet are hip distance apart, maybe spread out the toes. We're going to keep a micro bend in the elbows. And then we're going to do reverse tabletop. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. Bend into the elbows. Inhale, up. 
Exhale, down, keep the chin tucked, engage the glutes, engage the thighs. Nice. So working on the deltoids as well here. Working on opening the shoulders, but keep the chin tucked. If you have neck issues, it's really important. Three more. Three. Last two. Last one. Okay, slowly come down. We're going to slowly roll down now, reach the arms forwards, bend into the knees, and on the exhale, slowly, slowly come down. Hug the knees in, rocking backwards and forwards, coming into Pavana Muktasana. And then maybe take the legs up the wall to release giving yourself a little break. This is considered an inversion. And then for our final pose, you can come into sleeping teepee or child's pose, whichever works for you. So sleeping teepee will be feet out wide, knees together, shoulders away from the ears, arms away from the body, palms up and open to receive. Connect to your breath. Always good to come into our final pose for at least a minute to allow our body to reset and prepare for the rest of our day. So connect back to your breath, relax your jaw, relax your tongue. Allow your body to completely release to the earth. Allowing a few moments of peace and silence to seal off your practice.